45 minutes. Audrey, I waited 45 minutes. Oh, I'm really sorry. Please do not make any more sausages tomorrow. We haven't even sold the ones on Monday. At this rate, I'll have to take out a loan. Tanisha and I are planning for the wedding. There are 1,001 things to do. You know that, right? I'm pregnant. Which part of no rebeen did you not understand? Don't have to be so upset, right? You can take this boat and... Tadi sakit perut. Kita. Yeah. Hot diggity dog. We are here. Don't worry, you won't be the subject of my blog. She is. I'm just here for the money. You owe my father. If you don't pay me in cash, you pay me in blood. Excuse me, we are closing down the 128 Circle Food Centre. No way. <laughs> Lim, bangun, Lim. Marbudi phone lea. Kali kalau neng la lea. Hati tetapi ia sebarum bodoh. C grade tak kena kepo. Hey, how come the mirror bus is closed? You don't know ah? The owner died. That's too bad lah. But you can't simply close just like that wah. What do you mean by simply close? She closed the store hey, because I just want pass the bill. Now do you understand that? What kind of nonsense is this? Hey, get out lah! Chandra! Just because you say I the store must be open, does not mean the store must be open. I call the police anymore, ah! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Useless bugger! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry, sorry. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with him? You can't just shout at a customer like that. You know what that. What He's not my customer. Okay, thank you, Uncle. Uncle, uh, hmm? you know what time that store opens? So early you want to take dessert? Oh no, there's a young man. I, I mean that there's a young man walking there. Oh, you mean the Hamson guys, right? Ah, oh, yes. they just oh, joined no. in last month, yeah? No, yes, uh, no. Yeah. No? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> the store open only afternoon. They close at midnight. Night time you come, you can see. <laughs> okay, thank you. No problem. Hello, lady. Hey. Hey, lady. I'm collecting money for Aisha, the Mirabu stall owner. You want to give? Sure. You ask everybody here? Yes. If anybody is not going to give, please let me know. I'll go and talk to them. It's going to be tough for Aisha. No, Alim. She's got to run the stall herself. I don't know how she will manage. Don't worry. Who knows? Maybe she wants to retire. Anyway, one two-way circle is going to close down already. Yeah, terrible, right? 
after 40 years. Hey, you're moving somewhere else? Yeah, Rani is thinking you should move to Red Hill. More people. And you? I'm not sure. I want to retire, but... Uh, you're lucky, man. You got a son to take over your store. I got no one to take over my stall. He may not want to take over the stall. So, Rani and I, back to square one. <laughs> Young people, yeah? Always remember, clean board, clean knife, clean slices. So, the trick is to feel the knife. Move it like, like it's a part of you. Don't, Don't force, force it. it. Let the knife, knife do the work. Thanks for watching. I'm Singapore Chef Ken Lee. Michelin star holder. Two-time winner, two winner, winner of Singapore's best chef. And winner of 2017 best winner of best Southeast, South Southeast Asian, Asian restaurant. restaurant. See you, you soon. Excuse me. I'm still closed. Still closed. Oh, uh, what time will you be open? Open. Open. Come back in half an hour. I told you already, the busiest is the lunch rush. We have to be there by then. Boy? Anna and Lilin recommended her. She was their gynae and they say she's very good. So I bought a package. Anyway, we should schedule an appointment and I'd rather go in the afternoon. Yeah, I told you already, the stall $3,000? You bought it already? Without asking me? She has 3.9 stars on SG Mummy's forum out of four. And I say she's the best in Singapore. Don't you want the best for our baby? Of course I do, but it's $3,000. And it's just for the screenings. This is Singapore. What do you expect? <sighs> Dear, in some countries, all the healthcare is free. And in others, they even give you a baby gift box when a baby is born. Okay, let's migrate. I've always wanted to leave abroad. It's just you and that hot dog stall. Dom, I know you really love the stall, but maybe it's time to call a spade a spade. It's not doing well. We just need to build up the customer base first. How long would that take? We have a baby coming. took a chance and it failed. Dear, admit it and let's move on. I have a lot of orders to clear today. I think I'll be late. First day only, you already need to work late. Yeah, quarter end is very busy. Can you pick Michelle up for me? What time? Her daycare ends at 6.30. Help me to settle her dinner and then I'll pick her directly from your stall. Okay. Okay. Uh, make sure she does her homework, okay? And don't give her any oily food. I know how to take care of her. You go and do your work, okay? Okay, thanks Ma. Bye. If it were yesterday, I kept telling him, there's no way you can go on TV. We are in the middle of a legal proceeding. And Audrey. Earth to Audrey. Huh? Sorry, I was just thinking about... About what? Something bothering you? It's so silly. Last night I was so tired that... I was on my way home, so I thought I'd stop by 128 Circle to treat myself. I went to the dessert store and... Um, I ordered a bowl of ice kacang and I said no red bean, but the guy served it with red bean. Oh no. I don't know why, but maybe I was just so tired, but I just lost it. And I raised my voice and I told him to take the bowl and shove it. You what? No, okay, but in all fairness, he did call me uptight. Well, he shouldn't have gotten your order wrong. I mean, how hard is it to get a bowl of ice kacang without red beans? I mean, it's not that. He didn't even offer you a new bowl? No, he didn't. 
well, that's just rude. Tell you what, I'll buy over the store and I'll fire him. Then you never have to worry about red beans in your ice kacang ever. I know again. we're just joking, but I feel horrible. Oh, and I'm sorry, should hold on. I think the girl from Linden Case wants to settle. Uh, you know what? We'll buy over your ice kacang store later and then we'll fire that guy. Just let me settle this first, yeah? Sure. Go ahead. The time will change the words I Hello? Hey, Uncle Larry, it's the owner. The owner is not there. I don't want you, the owner. I want you. I want to tell you something. Oh, what? Someone looking for you this morning. Who? Oh. Young girl. Pretty girls. My wife always say she's my girlfriend. Tell you not. La. Wait. That crazy girl from yesterday night? Ah? Oh, you know what happened? We had a fight because I put red bean in the ice kacang. Hey. She's a lawyer, you know? You think she wants to sue me? Go ahead, let her sue. She just asked, what time your store open? It's okay, Uncle Larry. Women like this, I don't get bothered with them. Waste of time. Think they are better than everyone else. You think so? I think so. Okay. Wait. What time you tell her? I say you'll be here until midnight. Wow, Uncle Larry, business very good, huh? Three beers for your friends here. Huh? You want beer? You come and kill yourself. Hey, miss. Come and help me get some beer. Huh? Hey. If you don't like me, you just hit me. Don't hit my customers. Wow. Suddenly, you can talk very big, huh? Doc, you don't want to fight. You want to fight, is it? Ken, let's go. Wait, don't touch him. I will call the police. You there? I'll make sure you regret it. At the most, we can issue them a warning. But they are disturbing our customers. You can file a complaint if you want. We can make sure both parties apologise to each other. Come. Okay. Shake hands and apologise. Sorry, Uncle Larry. I didn't mean to scare your customers. Here you are. I'm sorry too. All right, that settles it. The three of you, go somewhere else now. See you soon. I bought him this shirt. He didn't wear it. How come? He said he wanted to save this for a special occasion. I thought maybe when we met our baby, he could wear it. You know, when we were trying. Every time I had a miscarriage, I felt like the end of the world. <laughs> and her limb was the strong one. <laughs> but uh, the treatments cost so much money. 
So we gave up and focused on the stall. The stall became our baby. Apa dengan stall tu? Nak buat apa lagi? Buka lah. Besok aku buka kedai. Wellness practice. How many testing? Of course there will be add-ons. One thousand five hundred. Five thousand five hundred. Sherry, how much sauce do we use for hot dog? Two tablespoons of sauce. Okay. How about the meat? 200 grams of meat. What about the salad? For the salad, we use one leaf of lettuce, 100 grams of shredded lettuce, one cherry tomato and a little bit of salad dressing. For the hot dogs, we use 200 grams of meat, 50 grams of flour as a binding agent, 3 grams of egg. Do you want a breakdown of the spices? No, 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 it's okay. Sherry, I was just thinking, do we really need to use so much meat for hot dog? Because the stuff we use is expensive, especially the beef. Okay, what about a salad? Do you really need cherry tomatoes? We agreed. I handle the kitchen, you handle everything else. Don't change my recipe. Okay, okay, I know. It's just that your recipes are too expensive. And you know, we barely make a profit on each of the hot dog that we sell. And. And I can't just raise the price because the customers will just go away. It's not that we have a huge customer base to begin with. Sherry, I really need you to work with me here. Okay? Hello, Dominic. Hey, Uncle Chandra. Hi, Dominic. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. What can I help you with? Come, I just need to talk to you for a minute. Oh, okay. You know, Aisha, Halim's wife, the one at the Mirabu stall, I thought it would be nice to raise some funds for her, just to help her. Uh, if in case you don't want, it's okay. Here. Thank you. You sure everything is okay? Actually, Uncle Chandra, there's something I need help with too. What? I started a petition to save the food centre. One, two, eight, circle. Petition? Yes, Uncle Chandra. Most of us don't want to move out. So, if you could add your name to the list... But my wife is already looking at other places. Oh. Wouldn't you rather stay put, though? Let me think about it. Thank you. My boss not here yet. You have to ask him later. Thank you. You want me to give more, you ask Mr. Chow to pay me more. Any amount is fine, as long as it comes from your heart. Thank you again. Anyway, I heard that you had a fight with a customer last night. You okay? Who told you? Small world. World gets around. You work here, it's like that. Customer always think they are king or queen. Next time, you scold them back. That's what I do. After all, we are human beings, right? Uncle Larry says she always come here. I also never saw her before. Don't think about it so much. Probably she's never going to come back here anymore. <laughs> Take care. Thank you again. Chaos running through the chaos. Death upon the door. Life among the poor. To sum it all up, thought Diggity Dog ought to register for a good customer service course before the crash. Ray, and oh my god, stop. Stop. What? 
You can't post that review. Why? She was so rude. Okay, so? If you post it and people find out, you're gonna get slammed like crazy. But she was really rude. I mean, I deserve good service, right? You know what people will say about you? Elitist, pretentious, ableist. Okay, okay, stop. I get it, okay? I get it. <sighs> Why didn't you just tell me this two hours ago? Sorry, sorry. I took the wrong bus. It's okay, Mrs. Lo. Mother called to say you'll pick her up. Okay. Where's Mummy? Mummy has to work late. Then we go home first? No, we go to Akong Hama store first. Peter, can I help Akong make drinks? You must do your homework first. I want to see the cats. After you eat your dinner. Ama, you know all my friends went home already. It's the last one today. Miss Yang! That's not my name, Ako. Stop calling me there. <laughs> you haven't eaten your dinner. Ask Ako to buy for you. Huh? What you want to eat? Anything you want to eat? This hawker centre sure have. Fishbowl noodles? Chicken rice? Okay, then you tell Ako what you want to eat. Hamburger! Miss Yang, there are so many good food down here. Then you want to take fast food. No, no, no. You choose again. How oh, fast food? Ako, I can't say anything I want the hawker centre will have. You finished your depositions already? Yep. I sent it to Mr. Peterson. And hopefully, he'll have no time to read it till the morning. I thought Julian has squash on Wednesdays. He does. Why? Nothing. It's just... It looks like you're rushing. Well, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to meet Julian, but I was going... Okay, you know there's a food centre at 128 Circle, right? I kind of blew up at the stall assistant last night because he messed up my ice kacang order. And I've been wanting to apologise because I feel so bad. So hopefully I'll get there before they close. Okay. Crap! Oh, Mr. Peterson read it already. Let me guess, he wants you to rehaul the entire thing ASAP. Just go. Say that you're not in anymore and that you don't read your emails at home. Work-life boundaries, right? I can't. What about your ice kacang boy? He's not my ice kacang boy. And the stall closes at midnight, so I still have time. If you say so. Miss Yam, whatever you want to eat, we can find it down here. Magic! <laughs> Hot dog? Fast food, is it? Right? Hey, can I make one more order? We are of course. Can. Can. Miss Yam, what you want to eat? So crap? Huh? The plastic bag for the hot dog? This is not plastic. It's made from intestines. Akong, I want to try. You want to try? Sure, come, come. Come and help, Sherry. Is it true that sausages are made of meat that people don't want? No. You need a glove. Okay. Uncle Larry. Oi. Actually, I wanted to talk to you. What? I created this petition. Petition? Yeah. To save our food centre. 128 Circle Food Centre. For what? For what? So that they won't close us down. And we can all stay here. You of all people should know that it's part of our heritage. Heritage? <laughs> no one will respect heritage and no one will respect we hawker. It's not true. 
I became a hawker because I respect the heritage. <laughs> you become a hawker because you think it's fun, right? Hey, you young people. Uh. Show me your hand. And this is mine. You don't know what respect is. And you also don't know what is survival. So, you're not going to sign the petition? Shao? You didn't finish your homework? Mommy used to do the same thing as you, you know? Sit at the table and finish my homework until Akong and Ama close the stall. Really? Every night? Mm hmm Right, Ama. Kids are the most poor. It's all because of their own choice. Ma. Not my choice. See you, Ma. Bye, Ma. I think Mala Yaru Kadek were a meritary lad. Kade Satila, Ma. Chandra. Chandra. Why are you looking at your phone? Nothing. Nothing? Then why do you keep looking at it all day long? No, I'm not looking at the phone all day. Why are you talking to me? I'm talking to you. What did you say? I'm going to go to the house. That's right. Let's go to the house. Let's pack up and close. Arun, let's pack up and close. Pa, I was thinking, you know, after Tanisha and I get married, I want to start a business. A business? For what? You already have a hawker stall. It's your stall, Pa. It's going to be your hawker stall when I die. Chandra. Maybe you can hire someone to help you. Did Tanisha ask you to do this? Just because she doesn't want to be married to a hawker? Pa, no, Pa, it's my idea. You can't really think I want to run a hawker stall all my life, right? What's wrong with that? Can From 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, no breaks, no weekends, we don't even go for holidays, and look at our savings. Cost of living is getting higher and higher. How do you expect me to raise a family like that? I did it, right? It was different, it was back then. I'm not saying there's anything wrong in being a hawker. It's just, you have good recipes, you have a strong customer base, everything is solid, the business is good, you don't need me to run it. Ma... Pa! Live your kind of life Remember the voice Someone told me that It's different To be right This is the same day This is the same day This is the same day in my dawn. This is the same day with you all now. This is the same day. This is the same day. This is the same day. No need to work. No, a bit slow. Afternoon not bad though. 
close early. If not, waste electricity. What's that? Uh, someone ordered halfway, then didn't want. Hey, oh, throw away. Waiting for? Throw. Oh. Live your kind of life and hate me. Remember the voice that someone told me that is different. To be right. I don't know the business plan, but you want to hear Kanu's story, Gana. Edo sonda, ana iblo serius arpa, nana nekla. Seri panama kadeya, wandh rate hilg matron wacigu am. Biaya baran, allah word dhen wacigu am. Angga vala seri dhen number ni diper patah de. Ya? Inda tholil labri, enna korcila, om bulleke. Ini kastamana tholil angga. Awanek vary da seno nerkla ala. He is soft la. Kids these days, he may have his own dreams, right? Dreams. Who dreams? He thinks it's so easy to run a business. Does he know what it takes to run a business? Why don't we just let him try? Try? Whose money is he going to burn by trying? He's chasing after his dreams with my money. Now I'm the pacer. In the business, no one should be able to do this. If you don't have a business, you should be able to do this business. Four minutes, four minutes. I can still make this. What? No, come on. Excuse me. Sorry, closed. Wait, it's 11.57. I thought you closed at 12 midnight. Today we closed early. How can you do that? How can you close whenever you feel like? I rushed all the way here. This is my store. If I want to close early, I close early. What, if you, you really still want to advise Gajang, you can go to Saragon Gardens. You don't have to come here and scold me. I paid $20 to cap all the way here all because I just wanted to do something good. I just wanted to apologize for shouting do at Do you still want to shout? No. I'm sorry. After much deliberation, we are closing down the 128 Circle Food Centre. As a store owner, you will have to make plans to relocate in the next 12 months. We all thought you won't be back so soon. The stall was Halim's life. He wouldn't want it closed for too long. Something small for you. Thank you, Chandra. I cannot accept. 
Aisha. If you remember when Arun was much younger and helping out at the stall, one day he slipped. His head hit against the wall. There was blood all over. I wasn't around. Rani was panicking. It was Halim, the first person to rush to him. He used his shirt to stop the bleeding. And then he rushed him to hospital. You could not open the stall because Halim was there in the hospital waiting with Arun. I have not forgotten all this. No. That was Halim for you. Please take this. Please. I know, I just wanted to... Five grams. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, sorry, we are not open yet. I know, I uh... I just wanted... Okay, you know what? Let's just be honest here, okay? I came by the other day. I wanted to try one of your hot dogs, but the thing is... I didn't have the chance to because your... My, my sister? Right, your sister didn't want to serve us. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So, I wanted to write it on my blog because... Your, your blog? Yes. Oh. Here's my card. And that's the link. Really? It's really, by the way. Oh, you can follow me if you want. Oh, so you're one of those uh, influencers? It's good journalist. How many followers do you have? 120k. 120,000? Yep. Anyway, as I've said, I really wanted to try your specialties, but it seems like you guys are not open, so I, I can think... prepare something for you. Can you write a review of my stall? See, that's the thing. I'm not sure, because usually I like to come without the honest knowledge. You know, that way it's more Don't fair. tell me nobody asks you to write reviews. How else can you make money? I have sponsors. Okay. What if I sponsored you? Then we have to declare it. Just don't declare this once. Nobody's going to know. Tell me your rates. Maybe we can work something out. Thank you. I haven't paid you yet, Auntie. Ah, you put that? You put that. I don't have change, Auntie. Okay, I remember. Yours, no tauge, extra chili, hey, right? No lah, ka. Mine is extra tauge and less chili. Uh, I think that's mine. No tauge, extra chili. Okay. Sorry, sorry ah. No tauge. I make for you first. Later hey. I make for you. Wait, wait, wait. After so you want to my water? Coming, coming, coming. You want my wife to call the police again, is it? Get lost! Wow, Uncle Larry. Hiding behind your wife, is it? I already told her. She'll regret for calling the police. What do you want? I already told you what I want. I also tell you, I'm not going to pay you it! I just want three beers for me and my friends. Huh? You're still there to come here and create problem. You pay it! $36. Just take the money and don't do stupid things. Wow, so quiet. Listen to your wife! I'm 
going back to India. I thought your trip was in August. I'm going tomorrow. T tomorrow? Why, why so fast? It's my family back in India. I need to go. But it won't be for long. What happened to your family? It's my, my uncle. He's very sick. Okay. You go. Family is more important. Me and Arun will manage. <笑>你要打架你想坐牢啊如果不出去的话把生意一定不走了警察都拿他们没办法你可以骂我也不喜欢有什么办法他们玩够了自然会走开的 Last two times I came, the store was closed. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, my yeah, husband... I came all the way from Pasir Ries, eh. At first I thought, good, the store is finally open. Then I taste the mirror boss, What's macam... wrong with the mirror boss? Nothing, nothing. But nothing's great about it either. I really don't know why I bought that. Maybe it was better when the two of you were running the store, huh? Mm. Larry, we were just talking about you. So sad. What's so sad? You used to be one of us. Big time gangster. But look at you now. An old man serving drinks. Take and grab your wife. Larry, you know what my father say? Your wife is a good flirt. She flirted with him. She flirts with everybody. She got a lot of experience. Police stop! Put down a bottle. Put it down now! Rest your 